Hello. Let me teach you how I made this glass painting of Miyamura and Hori. First you will need to print your desired photo according to the size of the glass. Also you will need to flip the photo too. I'll be using an acrylic sheet, since this is more durable and more affordable. Here are the materials you will be using. A permanent marker, I'll be using the one from Pilot, extra fine marker. An oil-based marker works best for this. A fine detailed brush. You will mostly need detail brushes. I used paint pots that I bought from Shopee. This saves me a lot of time and save me a lot of paint since it's stored in an airtight container. Here are the acrylic paints that I used. It's from Art Rangers. You'll also need a toothpick or any sharp tool for cleaning the edges. Alcohol and tissue for cleaning. I printed an extra copy made for swatches, to see if they match my reference. Also labeled it by numbers to make it easier for me to remember. Let's peel this off. Now sanitize with alcohol. Make sure to clean it first so you'll have a clean surface to draw on. Now it's clean. I used tape to keep it in place. Now start outlining. Oh no I messed up. You can clean it with alcohol. Make sure to clean it carefully so you'll have a nice surface to paint on. Now I'll draw it again. I'm really fond of their intro hoo hoo especially the original version. It's even added on my Spotify playlist. Later, I will clean the edges using toothpick and alcohol. This is what I'm talking about. This gives a cleaner and a polished appearance. I can already imagine their faces yay. Now it's ready to be painted on. I'm painting their hair's highlights first. You should paint from small areas to the biggest areas. Small areas like the highlights, eyes, and shadows. And bigger ones like their skin, hair, or their clothes. Yet you can also start from bigger areas if there is no small areas you should paint first. You can use any brand of acrylic paint since making this needs a lot of paint, so it won't be see-through when you put it under bright lighting. 
Since the paint is kinda dry already, I'll scrape the excess edges off using a toothpick. This gives a smoother appearance. I'm painting Miyamira's sweater. It needs to be thick since we are achieving a solid color so it won't be see-through. I'm repainting his next shadows. Always paint in a dabbing motion. I'm adding another layer to his sweater. Make sure it is thick enough to achieve a solid color. You can also check my Instagram art account to see more of my artworks, my username is at ends.archive. And my TikTok art act is at hunitbay. Painting Hori's hair's shadows. Now let's paint Miyamira's hair. Personally this is what I enjoy the most, painting their hair hee hee. Also let's paint Hori's. Adding another layer to her hair. Painting his pupils. Another layer to Miyamira's hair. Let's paint his collar. Painting his hands. I'm sorry if the lighting's change. Another layer to his sweater since I'm really not satisfied. I'm painting their eyeballs. Yay, I'm already painting their faces. Means I'm already about to finish the painting. Here is a sneak peek. This is what it looks like when it's not thick enough, it's kind of see-through. I'm just adding another layer. Yay it's done. Yay, Hori, and Miyamura is finally finished. I hope you learned something from me. I hope you liked how it came out as much as I do. Thank you for watching guys I really appreciate it. Till next time. Take care, goodbye for now.